all of the chiefs involved um, from the three communities uh, agreed unanimously that without the incident command system, uh, without an incident management structure, this incident would have been catastrophic because they wouldn't have been able to manage assets, moving them, relocating them, bringing them into where they were needed. Without the incident command system, they wouldn't have been able to do this. Considering the, the amount of incidents that were occurring, the magnitude of some of these incidents, the first incident in Lawrence was a multi-family, multi-story wood frame building. Uh, that in itself would be a significant incident in the city. Now that was followed up by dozens of other incidents. Without the incident command structure, um, this would have been a, a lot harder to manage and possibly more injuries or fatalities as a result of um, not enough assets being in place or freelancing going on where people were just going to what, do to what they thought was, was right at the time and not being managed properly and, and assets not being managed properly. So yes, it was a success from the management perspective of the, the magnitude of the incident being brought to, to bear and bringing assets to bear um, to uh, manage it and uh, get it under control in a reasonable amount of time. Once the incident was stabilized from the fire response and um, investigations for gas odors and, and malfunctioning appliances was done, um, the biggest thing at that point was now to make sure that all of the residents were going to be safe when they went back. There was a large portion of Lawrence that was evacuated, South Lawrence area, was evacuated uh, as part of the incident. So before they allowed people back into the homes, they wanted to make sure that the appliances were safe or rendered safe by pretty much being taken off the offline if they were damaged before they allowed everyone back into the homes. And that involved sending a police officer, a fire um, service uh, person, as well as an inspector into the homes. The police and the fire were to gain access to the homes and to be provide safety and security. And then the inspector would go and look at the appliances. By doing this, that assured that people weren't going to go in there and use an appliance that had been damaged. And that would may have resulted in another rash of uh, fires and, and gas odors and possibly explosions by using damaged equipment afterwards. 